Hey guys! My kids like pretty much any excuse to get festive and St. Patrick's Day is always such a fun theme. So today Brooks is going to help me make three breakfasts perfect for your kids this St. Patrick's Day. All right, first up we have matcha cheese seed pudding, which is easy to whip up. So Brooksy, can you put a little bit of almond milk into our mason jar? The whole thing. The whole thing. Perfect. And then we're gonna add matcha powder, and I have two options. You can get regular old matcha powder, or I really love this stuff. It's a matcha collagen powder, so it has a little bit of extra protein plus the matcha. So let's do this one today, yep. So dig your hand in and do one scoop of that. Dig, dig, dig. We love this stuff, so we're running low. Okay, and now dump it in there. Now we're gonna put the top on, and do you wanna do the honors of shaking? Yes, I'm a very good shaker. All right, let's see. Shake, 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 shake. All right, now it's time to add a little bit of extra flavor. So we've got some vanilla. Brooks, see this one? Half a teaspoon. Hold that over. All right, you can dump that in. Now some cinnamon. Perfect, that is great. And then we need to do some honey for sweetness. The matcha, you definitely need a little sweetness with it. Okay, so yeah, then we're gonna do two teaspoons. Perfect. All right, next up we're gonna add our chia seeds and I've got two kinds, the traditional black chia seeds and then I also have these white chia seeds which I had never seen before and thought they were super cool. Um, I'm gonna do the black chia seeds for you guys today but I did wanna show you this option. So Brooksy, why don't you carefully dump those in? All of them? Yeah, all of them. Perfect. Okay, now screw the cap on, and you really want to give this a good shake. Let's get to work. See all the colors combining? Yep, and you want to make sure all the honey gets off the side. The leprechaun turn our chia seed pudding green. All right, now you can stick this in the refrigerator overnight or at least four to six hours. All right, presto change it. We made two before, and I wanted to show you guys what they look like now. I have the black chia seeds. Brixie, hold up the uh, white chia seeds so everybody can see. Pretty cool looking, huh? Brooks really wants to try this, so I'm gonna turn it out in a bowl for him. Um, we won't even bother at topping it, but some raspberries, blueberries, a little granola, it tastes awesome on here. All right, buddy, let's do the honors. Oh my God, that's so good. It's <laughs> really good, huh? Oh, luck of the Irish. All right, next we're gonna make shamrock eggs. So we've got a green pepper. I'm gonna slice off just the bottom part. And then Brooks, can you do about a half inch slice all the way through, try to keep it nice and even. Here, you just wanna kinda of wipe out some of the seeds, but you don't wanna take out too much of the middle because it really helps give that shamrock shape. All right, once your pepper is ready, you gotta head over to the stove. So I have a cast iron skillet, but you can really use any pan that you want. So I'm gonna turn on the stove and melt some butter. Just help my butter melt. So once the batter is melted, you're gonna put your pepper on. Once your pepper is a little soft, flip it. So next, I'm gonna add my egg right in the center, followed by a little bit of cheese. Now I'm gonna cover this for about three to five minutes. And voila, shamrock eggs. It is time to shamrock shake this up. Every year, once a year, McDonald's make a shamrock shake. We are making a healthier version, starting with our liquid. Um, today I'm using, you can put that in. Today I'm using coconut milk. You need almond milk, um, cream of coconut, regular milk. Okay, awesome. And then some spinach. All of it? Yeah, all of the spinach. Um, you don't have to tell your kids this is going in, but great for nutrition and for the green color. All right, next up we've got some frozen banana. Brooks, do you want to put those guys in there? This will add all the creaminess. Okay, and then we have a little bit of avocado too. This is optional, but your kids won't even taste it and it has a nice creamy texture as well. That's actually for our top. And then the shamrock shake part is the mint part, right? So I've got some peppermint extract and I'm gonna put this in. Um, you might want to start with a little bit. You can always add more because it does have a pretty strong flavor. So do about half of a dropper full and we can blend. All right, should we get it on there? All right, you want to do the honors, buddy? How do you turn it on? Right there. This one. All right, we can pour our shamrock shake out into a glass so you guys can see the beautiful green color. All right, big moment. Oh, ho, ho. look at that. Mm -hmm. 
turned it all the way out, buddy. Okay, and we can top it with some cacao nibs, which are a lot like chocolate chips, only healthier. All right, guys, we hope your kids are lucky enough this St. Patty's Day to get one of these breakfasts. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Too busy. You still going? <laughs>